Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. One of the main goals of me creating this channel was for me to show you guys how I create cash flow. Now, I create cash flow many different ways, but one of the main ways that I created on this channel that I show you guys is through dividend investing. Dividend investing is when you invest into a company and they pay out a piece of their earnings right back into their investors through dividends. They either pay out monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or yearly. In my case, I invest into many companies that pay out dividends monthly and also quarterly. So that way I can create cash flow that comes straight to me without me doing any work at all every single month or every three months. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top five dividend investments that I have in my stock portfolio today. I have about a $30,000 investment portfolio. Not all of it is invested into dividend stocks, but about 50% of it is invested into dividend stocks. And I'm gonna show you guys my top five and how much I make from each one. And if I continue to invest into these dividend stocks, I could possibly have over $2 million and create over $225,000 per year annually in dividends. So to help the YouTube algorithm, make sure that you stick to the end to find out. It, it helps out my watch time a bunch. And also hit the thumbs up button. I think that's the most important thing that you guys can do is hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. So if you can hit that thumbs up button for me one time, I really would appreciate it. And also just please watch to the end. Let's make this video go viral. Let's get it on the homepage. Let's see a young investor that can relate to probably every single one of you guys out there on the home page. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube, here we are on trackyourdividends.com. This is one of the websites that I use to help me keep track of my dividends. It show me how much I'm gonna get paid out each year and when I'm gonna get paid. And they also have a lot of uh, different tools on here to help you with your dividend investing strategies. If you wanna try this out, the link is down in the description. It is completely free to try. So give it a shot if you want to. So this is my dividend portfolio. Right now I have around $13,000 invested into just strictly dividends. So around 50% of my portfolio is invested into dividend stocks. So this is all of my dividend stocks that I own it is around 29 stocks. So I do have around 29 different dividend stocks, which is gonna bring me in $542 worth of dividends this year alone. If I do not reinvest at all and just hold on to this dividend portfolio, I'm gonna make $542. But I do know that in my top five, I have two stocks that I need to update that I did purchase some more shares of. But before I update it and show you guys how updating, let me go ahead and show you my top five dividend stocks. We're gonna click on annual income, click it one more time, and there we go. My top five is AGNC, which is gonna pay me an annual income of $171 this year. NRZ, I have 170 shares, which is gonna pay me out $102. SPHD, 30 shares, which is gonna pay me out $50.91. PEY, coming in at number four, which is gonna, I have 45 shares, which is gonna pay me out $34.43. And then AT&T, tickle symbol T, I have 15 shares, which is gonna pay me out $31.20. Now I did pick up some more shares of PEY in at t So let me go ahead and enter that data right quick to see how much it's gonna change for $542. So, okay, clicking on at t first, I now own, looking on my Robinhood account, 16 shares of at t And the cost, my average cost is $32.55. There we go, hit edit, and that should update it. Okay, there we go. Now I have 16 shares, and then I'm gonna update PEY, hit edit. I now own 60 shares of PEY, with the average cost being $15, no, $14.92. And hit edit, 60 shares. And there you go, now I'm gonna have $556 that I'm gonna create of annual income this year from my top five dividend stocks. AGNC, NRZ, SPHD, PEY, and tickle symbol T, which is AT&T. Now I'm gonna show you guys how 
this compound investing on dividends is insane it really can create so much cash flow that you guys are not going to understand what to do with your money now all you have to do is continually reinvest your dividends i'm to the point to where at&t i will get paid out 33 dollars this year from at&t so at&t is pretty much is going to pay me enough in dividends to where i could where i could buy an extra share of their stock completely free this year they pretty much paid me to buy an extra share so if i did not invest into at&t at all so next year i have 17 shares and then eventually 18 19 20 so i eventually i have pretty much more shares of at and through money that they're paying me so that is the compound interest right there of me and reinvesting my dividends right back into at and i'm going to show you guys exactly how does that pay off in the future so if we go over to the dividend calculator Let's say my account right now is at $30,000. The annual dividend yield for AT&T is 7.61%. So we're gonna change this to 7.61% taxable account. And I invest around $200 every single week, which is $800 a month. So that's $9,800 a year. Expected annual dividend increase. Let's look at AT&T. Uh, two percent growth rate that's not bad so let's just go ahead and keep that at one to not keep everything no move it to two annually we're gonna re we're gonna reinvest the eight hundred dollars every single month so let's click monthly tax rate keep that at 15 percent now the stock market usually goes up six to seven percent every year but let's just say at&t alone only goes up three percent every single year and drip is us reinvesting our dividends so the years that we're going to invest is 20 years so let's so let's see where we're going to be if we invest every single 200 every single month into at&t uh, with a 7.61 dividend yield over the next 20 years we're going to hit calculate let's scroll down and there we go after 20 years we will have nine hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars um with the annual dividend income of $110,000. So if I continue with the investing strategy that I'm using right now, in the next 20 years, I could retire knowing that I could bring in $110,000 in just dividends alone, and I could just live off of my dividends over the next 20 years. So, and this is why dividend investing is so popular for anybody under 40, because we have enough time to invest just $200 every single week into the stock market. Now, if you're a little older, if you're around 50, 60, 70 years old, dividend investing might not be your best strategy because time is not on your side. Who I'm sorry to hear that, but for but anyone under the 40, 45 year age range, dividend investing it, it just works out in our favor. Now let me show you guys how powerful compound investing is. So instead of just all right, so let's say $110,000 is not enough for you to retire. You come from a very rich background and that is just not enough for you. So you decide to reinvest your dividends for the next five years, which is gonna make it 25 years. And let's show you guys how powerful compound investing is. Hit calculate dividends. I'm gonna scroll down and there we go. So just investing your dividends for the next five more years, instead of 20 years, you invested for 25 years. Now you have a $1.8 million account and you're gonna bring in $240,000 in dividends alone every single year. Now, if you can't retire off of that, let's say you just decide to reinvest for five more years. Let's scroll back up to 25 years and just change that to 30. We're gonna hit calculate dividends and scroll down. And there we go, $539,000. So you went from 110,000 for just reinvesting for 20 years, but if you reinvest for 30 years, now you will have $538,000 in dividends alone with a $3.6 million account. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why I'm saying time is on our side. If you're around 30 years old and you reinvest for the next 30 years, by the time you're 60, you're gonna, you can retire knowing that you're gonna bring in over half a million dollars every single year in dividends. So there we go, guys. That is how powerful dividend investing is. So if you start early, if you start now, even with just investing as little as you can, it can create cash flow slowly, but for surely over time. And this is an account that you could pass on to your kids and eventually to your grandkids to where your grandkids will never ever have to work 
a day in their lifetime as long as you set up the foundation now and start strategically investing into dividend companies now. So don't just think about yourself, think about your kids and think about your grandkids and how, and how you can set up a successful future or a head start for your grandkids today. So if you did make it to the end of this video, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. I, re <laughs> I really need that thumbs up. I wouldn't be asking for it if it didn't matter. So I really appreciate you guys that stayed to the end of this video that, that helped my watch time on this YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate every single last one of you. I'm gonna go through, read every single comment and reply. So I really appreciate you guys. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.